Welcome back to the channel guys. Are you guys dealing with rust on your van? We're gonna show you how to fix it in this video. It's super easy. It's with the Raptor liner paint. We have a couple videos on it. You can check those out or you can check out what we did here. We're gonna try and simplify it a little bit so it's shorter. One of the first steps to prep the van for paint is to take off all the ugly chrome accessories and then we're gonna sand where we're going to paint. After you've gotten everything off of the van and got it ready to paint, what we're going to use are these circular sanders and we got 80 and 100 grit. And we put these on here and we're going to keep a clean line with this here. Going all the way around. Using 80 and 100 grit. So 100 grit is going to go on the paint and 80 grit is going to go on this plastic. We've been sanding for about a good two hours now and it's time to address this rust under the windshield here. So we're gonna take the hood off and it all just comes off with the uh, number 13 wrench. And there's a bolt here and then there's two bolts on each side. So we're gonna remove this and it'll make painting the hood easy as well. So we got the hood off. Um, I'll just note that the weird little bolt that kind of holds the arm up is actually part of the washer fluid so when you put it back it all just kind of comes off at once and yeah so we're going to use the grinder and get after it so i'm just going to use this uh, degreaser and i'm going to wash everything i sanded and get it prepped to paint here Okay, so now we're masking, which is the step three of paint. And we got these. This helps a lot for masking up your windshield. We also have a giant car condom. And yeah, so this is step three. We're masking up the thing. We're gonna, I've already sprayed some primer up top. We're gonna get more on these rusty areas. And then we just wait for the paint now. Mask up the van. Make sure if you don't want paint on the inside of your doors because the overspray, you're gonna want to tape up these door jams. Otherwise, it'll just like leak in and it won't look very nice. Danny is still masking, and now I am gonna show you what we use. We put this over the whole van. It really helps. It makes it a really quick job. And then the paint came in the mail today. So I got two kits of uh, Raptor liner. Once you have everything um, masked off, you're gonna wanna get your adhesion promoter and we'll put links in the bio for that. And you'll wanna spray all the plastic spots so that it'll, so the paint will adhere better. After you've sprayed that, you have 10 minutes to get the Raptor liner on it. So you wanna pour the hardener in this and you'll want to order one of these guns and you'll put that inside, put it on the air compressor and spray it down and stay within the lines. All right, we set our gun to 40 to 60 PSI and now we're going to pour the hardener into this. It looks like it's eight ounces and then we pour it into there and then connect this to the gun. I'm going to shake it up pretty good. Make sure to always wear a mask. just now wrapping up the hood 
we added this bright orange strip so you can see it through the grate. So let's see how it looks. We've finished the van, uh, we've reassembled the hood, and we've taken off all of the tape and, so we could see the finished product. And it took about two days to complete this job, and I hope that you learned that in just a few easy steps that you can change the look of your van and up that curb appeal.